Number one on my list is number one on my list because it is a perfect encapsulation of exactly why we work as a pair of friends pursuing this as a hobby. The old man of Coniston. The old man. We've gone to the Lake District to conquer Scarfield Pike. Day two, we're feeling a little bit of humdrum. For our second day in the Lake District, we've chosen this lakeside walk with a gondola ride. And at the end of the day, Trev's clearly aggravated that we didn't get up a mountain. Looking across at these mountains, one of which was the old man of Coniston, thinking we should be up there. And at the end of the day, he wants to go and do some time-lapse photography. And uh, we end up right at the foot of a beautiful mountain. And Trev's wandered off and he's got his camera out. Like, this is a perfect opportunity for me to fold the seat down and fall asleep. Nate falls asleep while I'm out doing a time-lapse. And I see this sign, the old man of Coniston one and a half miles or one and a quarter miles from this car park. That's not a lot, is it? At this particular point, if it wasn't for Trev's motivation, I would have quite happily just stayed asleep in the car. So I tap on the window, Nate, do a mountain. It's like, Trev, it's late in the day. It's... Can't do a mountain now. I was like, it's only a mile and a quarter. But he made a fair point. The mountains aren't on our doorsteps. We travelled a long way for me to sleep in a car at the foot of a mountain. Bearing in mind we knew that it was late in the day, the sun is already on its way down, there's a weather front coming in, it's going to be horrendous weather at some point, but I managed to persuade him to get him out of the car. I dragged my uh, lazy carcass out of the car, put my pack back on, Trev's pointing at this sort of slightly smaller, less impressive sort of uh, hill in front of us. I was convinced that the old man of Coniston was this mountain over to the right wouldn't be this massive mountain up here on our left so we start up this path and I'm thinking this so right, so it's path like this it'd be fine it's only a mile and a quarter why shouldn't it be path like that yeah. I remember we passed this woman and uh, we were talking to her and she's you know she had an accent she's proper local lass or at least far more northern than, than me and Trevor we say where are you walking up the old man of Coniston no no she goes I wouldn't go up the old man of Coniston this time of the day you know, we're easily spooked, I suppose. And uh, it was only sort of a short while before that we discovered that we didn't have a map, we didn't have a compass. Uh, Trevor left his phone behind, so we didn't have view ranges. So navigationally, we were screwed. Anyway, after we seen this woman, and we realized we're sort of on a tight schedule to get up and down, Nate really starts marching. I've got it in my head that if we're going up a mountain, it's kind of in our name of our channel, you know, Summit or Nothing, and it's like, well, if, you know, if we're going to start this, it's Summit or Nothing, we're going to the top. And it's starting to get steeper and steeper. The, the path just keeps turning and snaking and getting steeper, and eventually we sort of come around this corner and there's this massive man-made stone wall that's just made from slag and shillet that's out of this quarry. It's a real industrial sort of looking area. Nice, interesting looking quarry. But we ain't got time to stop take it in. We haven't even got time to stop and catch our breath. So I, I really sort of started getting the, the bit between my teeth. And uh, Trev sort of lagging behind, bringing up the rear. I'm following him up this mountain and he is pushing and he is pushing. And I am thinking, just stop. I'm really pushing really hard. And I can hear Trev getting narky and a little bit shitty back behind me. And he's waffling into the camera, wasting oxygen when he should be sort of breathing harder, I guess. <sighs> We're still going. Nate, it's been a bit of a cunt. Excuse my French. He's just off. He's, oh, something or nothing, something or nothing. Well, all day I wanted to go up a mountain. He didn't want it. He was tired. Just kept thinking his way. And I could see Nate, and he stopped. He's catching his breath or something. I could. Just working my way up to Nate. Just get to him, and he carries on. But I'm not getting left behind on this mountain, and I'm sweating, and I'm looking up at him, and I'm angry, and I'm and sort of. Trudging our way up slowly and there's just zigzags from left to right. We get like halfway up the mountain and there's, there's this lake in the side of the mountain. There's a nice view but we still didn't have time to stop. And eventually we come round this last sort of turn of the zigzag and it, it, you can see then there is the summit. We got up to the top and Nath was there waiting. As I start to approach the summit, I become acutely aware of the fact that I have just sort of left Trev. And I don't really want a summit without him. We've made it up to the top. The weather's not here yet. The sun is still up. 
if we'd have stopped all those times that we stopped when we go up any other mountain, we wouldn't have made it. And then we sort of uh, sum it together, and Trev sort of explains to me when we're up there that the points whilst we were walking up, he had this emotional sort of almost hatred for me at that point. I might have been pissed off with Nathan at first, but by the time we got up there, I realised, I realised what it was, and we chatted about it, and he was like, we had to get up there, Trev, you know. And I never knew I had it in me. Giving it that summit or nothing! Do it! District. At the top of that mountain was the most heartfelt, guttural, primal scream we've ever given. And then by the time we come to coming back down the mountain, we just, oh my god, it's just, it's almost embarrassing to watch back. It was like we was on drugs, we was like the drug of the mountain. And you know, we did go a bit sort of doolally. And then I was doing a monologue, and at the same time he's behind me doing a monologue. I'm saying, Nate's great, oh he pushed me, he's coming down going, Trevor's brilliant. And I wouldn't do it without him and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. And that's part of the emotional roller coaster of going up the mountains. And like I said at the start, the reason this particular mountain and video encompasses everything that is us is the fact that I've always had the gumption and interest to go hiking and go up mountains. But I didn't do it. Neither one of us would do it without the other. And we do bring different elements to the table. And it's one of my highlights of Summit or Nothing so far, not just in the last year, but over everything. And it's a beautiful mountain. It actually made the top 10 of the greatest British walks on the telly. And I was like to my wife, we've done that, we've done that in an hour. The Old Man at Coniston, my top moment for the 2017-2018 year. Uh, if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. Uh, and I hope you continue to enjoy, like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.